This is the grade six math practice test for TN ready. Question number 16. This question is a type of question for people who like teaching math classes. They get all warm and fuzzy inside. I like to teach students in math, I guess. I mean, I don't care about this, but um, it has lots of parts to it that they would just get all giddy about. Anyway, the area of a rectangular patio is 90 and 3 tenths square feet. The length is 10 and 1 half feet. What is the width in feet of the patio? So I have this rectangular patio. Just kid yourself and pretend it's a rectangle. I know it's not. Um, the entire area of it would be like this. When we have area, by the way, of this kind of a rectangle, say I have four up here and two, so it's eight, right? Four times two, so then we're going to use that. The length is ten and a half feet. So I need to figure out what goes here. That's, I'm trying to find the width. The area of this is length times width. But I already have this part. I need to figure out a way to determine, okay, if I multiply, what do I need to multiply 10 and a half by to get 9 and 3 tenths? And there's a few ways that you'd go about doing it. First off, let's look at the legitimacy of the answer choices. I mean, this is a calculator section, right? And use that to our advantage. So I have 90 and 3 tenths, right? So I'll do 3 divided by 10, and that's what that is, 0.3, plus 90. So what I can look for is, okay, what if I take 10 and a half, which I'll make a note to myself here. And then 10 and a half. Point five plus ten. So it's ten point five. You probably knew that anyway, but I'm just showing you all the parts. Now I can just test these to see if they will give me this answer, and it's the quickest way to find an answer. I'm also going to show you the math way, don't worry, teachers. Um so ten point five times, and this one has parentheses, so I'm going to use it. Five divided by forty three. And I close that. There's that. That's 5 divided by 43. So now I'm going to do times 10.5. So I should have done it the other way. I'm still getting used to this calculator. It's still really small, right? Not even close. So that's out. For the next one, and I'll mark it out here. For the next one, I'll do 8 and 3 fifths. So... 3 divided by 5 gives me that, plus 8. That's 8 and 3 fifths multiplied by 10.5. Seems promising, doesn't it? Oh, look, there it is. So my answer for this one is going to be this. But I'll check all of them. Plus something that I'll occasionally forget to do is remember that 79 and 4 fifths means 79 plus 4 fifths instead of times. You'll get weird answers that way. See how it's too big? And if that one's too big, this one is definitely too big. So your answer to that one can be grabbed out just by testing answer choices, as long as you understand this part first. But what did they really want you to do? Now I'll get to that part. What they really wanted you to do is think, okay, well, if this is an equation that I'd have to solve, the opposite, I need to get W by itself, so I need to do opposite operations. I need to divide. So they wanted you to take this step here. I should have erased that step. And they wanted you to divide both of them by 10 and a half. So they want you to do 90 and 3 tenths divided by 10 and 1 half. So I'd have to convert, this would be 90, 10 over 10 is plus 3, so 10 times 90 is 900 plus 3 is 903, and then that's over 10, and then this is 10 and a half, so it's 10, 2 over 2s plus 1, so 2 times 10 is 20 plus 1 is 21, and then I'll do keep it, flip it, switch it. And we'll just call it keep, flip, switch, because I'm already a few minutes into this thing. 
keep it, flip it, switch it. So keep this one, flip this one, switch it to multiply. And then you'll end up going over here. And I have to do some erasing because I'm running out of space. Um, I'm going to do 90, uh, 903 times 2. Eighteen oh six, and then I'll have to do twenty one times ten, which is two hundred and ten, and from there I start to look at my answer choices. Well, this is a impro this is an improper fraction, right? So eighteen oh six divided by two ten, and you could keep reducing it till the end of time, but you'll end up getting eight point six. That seems like a reasonable answer for this. So what's point six as a fraction? Is what's so I'll check three divided by five and find out. Well, 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 it is point six. So my answer is eight and three fifths. What they wanted you to do is this keep it, flip it, switch it division of fractions. But that doesn't mean you have to do it the way they want you to. You can also just check and guess. That's not a bad math solution if they're going to give you multiple choice. You're trying to score as well as you can because most of your the proof of your math learning is not going to be on this test. The proof of your actual mathematical learning will be in the work that you do every single day and how well you're able to apply it in your real life. These tests exist as a measure and simply as a measure of lots of different things. So if they're going to give, if they're going to try to measure your entire learning in one test, you should use the test structure to your advantage. And in this case, I am using it to my advantage because I know that this number times some number is going to give me this area. So I'm going to test these to see if I multiply by this 10 and a half, what answer will give me 90 and 3 tenths because it'll make my life go quicker and I don't have to spend so much time trying to do all this stuff, which takes a lot longer. I don't have any opinion about how you solve this question. I really don't. And if it were an assignment, I would probably tell you you have to. I'm telling you they don't require you to do it any specific way based on the way the question is structured. So use your best judgment about what you need to do to score as well as you possibly can.